June uh, 2020 at Boundary Bay Mud Flats. This is a recording for those who are not familiar with uh, this type of uh, environment. This is a sort of a mini golf. They call it uh, a bay. A bay looks like a um, horseshoe shape. The ocean comes in and right now we are at low tide and these are mud flats. Lots of mud is sticky and is mm, how to call it soft. And the ocean, I want to show you the ocean is feeding everything and everyone. The design is in a way that everything is feeding on uh, something so the species can continue their uh, journey. It's amazing. If you stop for a moment and look at these uh, little bugs, millions of them, and you look at those little creatures that are all alive. I can show you, they all uh, move. See, that one is moving, that one is moving. Some of those are just moving with a, with a current, with a microcurrent, but actually they have their little way of moving around, you see? Now it's not the current, they just move one by one step by one step. I don't know how they do it, but it's, uh, it's amazing to see so many. And before the, uh, before the end, at the beginning of this pandemic, I went to the ocean and I thought, what I'm going to do? to feed myself and the family uh, when the resources run out because we can't really rely on the governments as they're, they're our backup or our parents, our uh, emergencies people. We have to be responsible and uh, look after ourselves. You see so many. And uh, when everything runs out, what people do? First, they uh, start fighting each other. They find all sorts of reasons to, to fight. When in fact, they actually are in fear and they lose the judgment power. And now they are in a survival mode. And you see all these mass movements in the United States. You could see some uh, localized mass movements in some places before the pandemic, but now they are uh, uh, more intense. Everything intensified. And there's also the media. The media is exaggerating things. It's showing uh, only the powerful stories. But if I look at the, uh, the general picture, I see that people come on the streets, they are angry, upset. And before the pandemic, was nothing like that. And it's going to intensify even more, more than that. This is a sort of a beginning. If the pandemic keeps going and it's continuing, if you look at the uh, United States compared to Canada, it's all the red zone on the map. And coming back to what I was going to say, I look at these uh, little creatures, the shells, and I thought, okay, if each one has half gram of something edible, edible, then if I pick up a couple of buckets a day, um, I may be able to make it for till till the winter, because the winter, in the winter time, these things 